Welcome to Living the Logic. This is Manish Narayan, and today we're going to integrate .NET 8 Web API with a local running LLM and open source model for Llama. All right, so the first step you want to do is head over to olama.com slash download slash windows. So what we're going to do is set up Llama 3.2, a local LLM on running on Windows. Okay, and the API is going to be exposed locally. Right, so, so basically download uh, for Windows or choose you know, your operating system. Once you download, let it continue and run the setup. Once the installation is complete, you'll have a uh, local running um, API from Olama. Uh, you can access that via localhost port 11434. Okay, and uh, Olama is running, it will show that. Now, before you do that, uh, as soon as the install finishes, uh, you're going to see a PowerShell window open. Make sure you pull the model of your choosing. In this case, I ran Olama run Llama 3.2. Notice it pulled down uh, the local image. Okay, and I asked it a question to test it out, and it gave a response. I said, "What is AI?" and it gave me a response back. Okay, so uh, again, uh, the Llama.3.2 is going to be exposed running locally uh, as, in, as a service, localhost port 11434. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our .NET 8 Web API. Uh, we're going to open up Visual Studio 2022, create a new project. I'm going to choose ASP.NET Core Web API. Click on Next. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and name this project Olama chat app. Okay, so Olama chat app. Um, click on next. Oh, let me go back and adjust the folder. So I'm choosing C dot development. Um, and we'll call this Olama chat app. So Olama chat app. Perfect. Uh, click on next. Uh, I'm going to leave the default.NET 8 framework, all the rest of the settings default. Click on create. Okay. Now, in a moment, you're going to see a brand new .NET 8 web API uh, that should be uh, set up and ready to run. Uh, I'm going to close the overview window. Uh, first thing to do, we're going to delete the default. Um, uh, sorry, we're going to head over to Program CS. Uh, since we're talking to a local API, Olama, uh, I'm going to add the HTTP client. So we're going to say builder.services.addHttpClient. All right, perfect. I'll go ahead and save the program CS. Okay, um, I'm going to delete the weather forecast model. Okay, that comes shipped with the .NET 8 Web API. All right, uh, get, head over to controllers. Remember, by default, you get a weather forecast controller. I'm going to rename that. So we're going to rename that, let's say, the chat controller. Okay, so we have a chat controller in there. All right, now uh, we're going to change the route to API slash chat okay perfect all right uh basically i'm going to rip out everything out of this default controller and start adding the things we need for connecting to olama locally all right so get rid of the static read only stuff let's keep the the logger um and we'll delete the default method for the get weather forecast okay let's get rid of those um blank lines there and now let's uh inject the http client so i'm going to say private, uh, read-only, HTTP client, and we'll say underscore, sorry, underscore HTTP client, okay? And we'll go ahead and inject that in the constructor. Perfect. Visual Studio does that for me. Uh, all right. Let's create a uh, one endpoint, okay, or action, and we're going to use HTTP post, okay? So we'll say HTTP post. Let's look for HTTP post. There you go. Uh, now we're going to say public async, okay, uh, task i action result, and here we're going to say ask question, so that'll be our method, okay, and here we're going to pass it from body, so we're going to post a chat request, all right, so we'll create that in a moment. I'm going to say of type chat request, and we'll say request. All right, perfect. So uh, what we can do is add a add chat request as a new file, a new class. Okay, uh, so once you click that, oh, it created in the controllers. I'm going to go ahead and move that to the root of the project. Again, you could create, you know, a models directory and place all your models, requests, and responses in there. That's fine. 
So let's get started. So very first thing, in order to talk to Olama locally, we're going to create a payload. So var payload equals new. All right. And the model, again, remember we set up llama 3.2. So we're going to say llama 3.2. Okay. And then uh, just add a question there. Sorry. Uh, sorry, a comma there. So we're going to say comma. And Olama is expecting a prompt. Okay. So we're going to say request.question. So basically that's coming in from our API method. Request.question. So if I head over to my chat request model, I'm going to add a public string question, getter setter. All right. Go ahead and save that. And uh, let's go ahead and save all. Now we should see request.question. Perfect. All right. And then for streaming, for now, we're going to leave that as false. And I'll show you later in the next video how to set up streaming so we can maybe create a chat GPT like UI. All right. So now that we have a payload, I'm going to create now the JSON content, which we're going to serialize and post to our local Olama service. Okay. All right. Um, so what we want to do is um, create a var JSON content. And this is going to be a new string content. Okay. And here, uh, let's add the content. So we're going to use JSON serialize. Okay. And then we're going to say serialize. I'm going to basically take the payload, serialize it, um, encode it. So what we can say is say encoding dot UTF-8. Oh, sorry. Encoding. So I need to add a few packages here. So references. So first, we're going to add uh, system text JSON for the serializer, and then system .text. Yep, system text for encoding, and we'll say UTF-8. Okay, and uh, the type, the media type, is going to be application JSON. That's what we're going to post to the local Olama service. Okay, and now we have our content. Uh, basically, we need to now call the API using a post, and then get the response and handle it. So here, I can say var response equals await and use our HTTP client post async okay uh, basically we're going to take the endpoint so now remember our endpoint of Olama is running HTTP localhost port 11434 and the endpoint is API slash generate okay that's what's exposed locally by the local LLM service and here I'm going to take my JSON content and post that perfect now let's handle the response. So what we'll do is say if no, not a response, okay, not response, and is a success status code, we can throw some sort of error message here and a status code that's returned by Olama. So we'll say return status code, and here we can say int convert the status code of Olama. So basically response dot status code, and we'll give it a message uh, error communicating communicating with LLM. All right, perfect. Now, if the response is successful, we get a 200 back. Uh, I'm going to basically deserialize into our own custom object. I'll call it chat response. Okay. And we'll create that file as well. So we'll say var response data okay, equals await. Let's take the content and read as string AC. Right. And now let's go ahead and deserialize. So we'll say var chat response equals json serializer dot deserialize of type chat response. I'm going to create that in a second here. And we're going to take the response data and deserialize that. Okay. Uh, perfect. So let's, uh, and, and then we'll return uh, OK 200 and then pass it the chat response. Oh, sorry, not the response data, the chat response. Perfect. Okay. Let's go ahead and add a new class for our chat response. Okay. In a new file. Uh, it created in the controllers. I'm going to move that to the root of the project. Okay, we'll head over to chat response. All right, and basically we just need to add a response string type. Okay, so we'll head over to chat response, make that a public class. Okay, and we'll say public string, public string response. Okay, get set. And I'm going to add a JSON property here, um, attribute. So a decorator, so we'll say JSON, um, JSON property name, and we'll call that lowercase response, so it matches what Olama is sending back or the local APIs, LLM API is sending back. All right, so we got our request response. Uh, everything looks good. I'm gonna hit play. All right, and it should start up in a second here. Okay, 
Um, so basically, we got a .NET API. Um, it's uh, talking to a local uh, LLM, Olama, and uh, I can ask it a question, right? So let's wait for the UI to come up. It should come up in a second here. There we go. There's a Swagger page. Um, I should have one endpoint. There we go. API chat. I'm going to try it out. Let's ask it a question. We'll say, um, since I like tennis, we'll say, how many Grand Slams did Roger Federer win? Okay. And let's click on execute. So we're waiting for the response. Again, uh, in a UI, we can start to stream it. So we get real-time um, stream responses back from the LLM. Uh, in this case, we're just, you know, sending a request, waiting for the response. It could take time for that, right? Um, so probably best to stream this response, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video. There we go. We got a response from our local LLM. All right. Uh, Roger Federer won 20 Grand Slams. Uh, this includes eight Wimbledon, six Australian, five U.S. Open, and one French. All right. So it uh, looks like we have our .NET 8 API integrated with our local hosted uh, LLM, Llama 3.2. And we're able to now create a robust uh, chat application similar to ChatGPT. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the next video. Well, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you had fun at Living the Logic. See you next time. Hey, guys. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.